Thanks for stopping by, everybody. You know the channel, Level M Diecast, Diecast Hall. Bing! Episode 62. Episode 62 here on the channel. Uh, this one is going to be a pretty good doozy. Um, I did finally find one of the regular uh, Firebirds. Not the Super, unfortunately, but just one of the regular uh, Firebirds. This is from the L case. This would be the Super if it was a Super, but not a Super. So this is just your regular model here. Not a model I particularly collect, but uh, I do like the deco, and hopefully I can get a Super at some point. I think the Super looks especially nice. This one's all right. Uh, kind of a satin black with the, of course, uh, flying chicken on there, screaming eagle, whatever you want to refer to it as. Nothing particularly fancy, but the Super on that one actually looks pretty, pretty darn good. I uh, did get one of the newest Zamix from the newest Zamix mix. There's two in there, like every other Zamix mix. Uh, for 2024, this is the your, your, bleh, Mercedes Benz Unimog. Um, Got to make sure I stay up on my Unimog. I do have every single Unimog uh, they've released thus far, including the uh, super, super hard to find uh, ID. So, got hooked up with that from a buddy of mine. So, that's just the Zamic version of you know the mainline model we've already seen this year. Nothing particularly fancy. Uh, so this is very very interesting. So I do have a set of Dollar General exclusives. Uh, so these are 2023 Dollar General exclusives that just showed up, like right now at Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar General exclusives. That just dropped at Dollar Tree. These are from last year, 2023. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. See, these are the old cars. They don't have the little white on the corner there. For Hot Wheels Green Speed. This is a pretty good casting. The first Pan Panamera they did was not very good, but this one is pretty good. The decos look okay on there. It says Porsche on the back. Panamera Turbo S uses the PR5s. It looks all right. It's, it's old. I mean, it's old by now. You think 2013. That was over a year ago, those drops. But, uh, yeah, they just they just popped up. Corvette C7 Z06 convertible in lime, kind of an electric lime green. I especially like the white taillights. That's super cool look on there. So i get this guy cracked out. Not a casting eye collect, but um, this particular one looks pretty good. Print on it looked pretty good as well. I do like the color. Again, some PR5s on there. I just really, really like the white tail lights. I just think that looks super cool. It's just something different. Looks good. I like that. I like different. You guys know that. This channel is all about different die cast. Uh, this one I have a few of. I've only picked up kind of ones I like. I really did want the yellow one too. Um, but like I said, these never really popped up, at least anywhere that I found last year. So this one here, the El Camino. The AD El Camino, the last generation of El Camino. This one is nice and slammed, looks good. Says El Camino SS on the side. Stance looks good. A little bit of uh, interior there for the bed. Cut down on the metal. You know how Mattel works it. Mattel always, always worries about that kind of stuff. Base deeds, nothing particularly fancy. Just a yellow version of the one that we got in the main line. Just, uh, just another version, but this one... Whoop, this is the one that I'm super happy about. This is the only one that I was missing from all of the 787s. That is your Dollar General exclusive in black. So this is the same version as the blue one uh, and the red. I think they were both the same deco, just different colors. Uh, same with this one. It's just in black. I think this one looks especially nice, though. Of course, all that good print on the front says Mazda. Got gold on there. Looks good. Number 78. The mismatched wheels, as close as they can get for a main line, just basic five spokes in the back, kind of the arrow blade in the front. Nothing on the back. This is the, you know, main line version of the casting, so it doesn't have the removable top, but that's pretty cool. I'm really happy to finally get my hands on that one. That one is pretty nice. All right, the second mix of the 56th anniversary. I think this is the second mix. There is the mix on the back. I do have some of them. Uh, these have recently popped up at grocery stores. They're for sale here locally for like 38 cents, I think, a piece. Um, so they must be just trying to dump these off. This is your 2020 GR Supra in the kind of uh, emerald and gold satin anniversary. So we're up to 56th anniversary. 
They've been doing these every year since the 50th, which is kind of interesting. does have a gold chrome interior, which looks pretty good. This is not a particularly nice casting. I don't like this casting. This casting's been in premium, though. So if you want a really nice version of that casting, you can get one in full-on premium with rubber tires, metal base, all that good stuff like that. They got to say centered. Uh, next one up from that mix, I got one more here. This is the Ford Escort Cosworth. This one is the 87. I do like this casting quite a lot. Did not have this version, so really, really happy to pick this up. So, better late than never seems to be like the theme of this uh, of this haul we have going on here. There is your Sierra Cosworth. It's 56 on the side. I like the deco. Looks pretty good. Lens headlights, part of the window in there. And then, of course, they have the post right there in the middle, so they could have that uh, distinctive... Uh, Triple triple post wing on the back. I think it looks good. I really like this car. I really like this. I think Howells did a phenomenal job with this particular casting. Uh, Matchbox also made uh, that casting as well. Not necessarily the Cosworth, more the, the street version of that. But uh, Howells did a much, much better job. All right, last one up there for models that we collect. The tuned Volkswagen Golf MK1. So this is the tuned version get this guy cracked out of there oh my lied. i got one more after this my bad there is the golf looks pretty good i do like this particular car i think this one looks pretty good as a tuned model some of their tuned models probably aren't going to turn out all that well i never realized there was a spare tire in the back that's kind of cool uh exhaust tip as well uses the little tiny small arrow blades but uh you know, not a new casting it's just a cool little casting a former regular treasure hunt which is pretty nice. And then the last one that I do have for sure, S14 Drift. So this one has been in a little bit, well, it's been an ID and then just like series cars, but I'm sure this will make its way to the uh, basic range at some point in time, I would assume. Uh, this model that you're looking at right here can easily be a basic range model. It is right-hand drive. There is the deco on the side. It says, of course, KW there on the back. One little advertisement. The front mount intercooler looks pretty good in gold chrome. Looks better in uh, other decos. You get a little bit more details to it, but of course no front bumper. And then there is the rear deets. The big, huge metal wing on the back. Or good old downforce while you are drifting. All right, I got some old school auto worlds. Um, I'm kind of on this like big body kick. And I'm kind of on an Auto World kind of kick right now. So been finding them. If I can find them for cheap, I'll get that for $4. This is back in the day, 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. There is the mix that this came in right there. So we'll crack this open. We'll see what the date put on this is. See when it actually debuted. Get that out of here. Of course, there is a day code on the bottom. So this is 4-15-2020. So... Quite a old, old model for sure. This one does have opening hood, just like most of all all worlds do. Very good details down in there. The double carbs. I like that. Looks good. The engine's a little bit crooked, but uh, it's a different different era of auto world right here. Looks pretty good. The interior is quite detailed. Looks very, very nice. Actually has a couple of two-tone on the interior, which is very interesting. There is the print on the front. California plate says Belvedere. White wall tires on it. Belvedere on the back with those fins. And it's a little bit of a bonus for me because it's a Mopar item. But it's also it's also a big body. A little big body. Uh, speaking of big body, this is brand spanking new release. We, are, we have already seen the Silverados and the Rams. This is from the same mix. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm suddenly on this little big body kick. So uh, I did pick this up. This is version B for release for 1970 Chevy Kingswood Estate. In blue, in true 164, as Auto World claims, it is a boat for sure. The Kingswood Estate was the top trim, by the way. This one is all the way at the tippy top. Interior looks very, very good. You do have some details for even some seat belts and stuff down in there. You have your rear-facing rear seats so that uh, the kids can stare out the back. Wood paneling on the side looks very, very good. The stance looks very, very good. This was a luxury cruiser. It wasn't meant to go fast or nothing. It was meant to haul stuff and be very, very comfortable. does have a nice added uh, rack there on the top. 
The giant hood opens up, and then there is just your gutless V8 down in there. Moving a boat of a car. Details look pretty good on this one. Manufacturing date on this particular one. Looks like they may have... Uh, oh, there it is. So this was manufactured 6-12-2024, so... Not uh, not too bad, not too bad. A little over a month to get uh, into the U.S. I don't think. Actually, that will fit. Oh, very nice, very very nice. Looks pretty good too. Pretty good in blue. All right, I do have the other color. This is version A. This one is in red. No, it's not an ultra red. Just just it's just color is red. So ultra red, you'd have a white base, uh, I believe. All of them have white bases in this particular mix. But this one looks a little bit better in red. I do like the red with the wood paneling, although the blue and the wood paneling look just as good together. Details in the back, it does say the king on the plate. It looks like a Michigan plate on there. Looks pretty good. And then uh, it's going to be the exact same details underneath the hood. Oof, this one even wants to open. There we go. Super, super stiff. Looks pretty good. And closes down pretty good as well. Little tiny skinny tires, but uh, it works. It works for the scale. It works for the, the profile of it. It's not too shabby. Um, some older stuff as well. Another older one. This is the older uh, F-150. This is the 2018 Ford F-150. This is the particular mix. This one came in. So nothing particularly fancy. I, I probably have the Barracuda and the, and the Dart Swinger probably. Um, just being that they're Mopars. It's probably floating around somewhere. But this is your F-150. It does have two moving features. They've been using this casting for a little bit. This casting is properly built. The bed is a separate piece from the cab. Interior looks pretty good. There's quite a bit of detail down in the, on the interior. F-150 there on the quarter panel. Prints on the front look pretty good. It says Ford in your grill. Again, Auto World has some pretty good quality. Has opening hood. It's a pretty good depth down in there. For some reason, they only decided to put a little bit of print on the top of the um, radiator, which I think is very, very interesting. Um, a little bit of print on the running boards as well. So, oh, oh man, that, super stiff. Now, here's the thing about Auto World trucks that do bother me. Take a look at that play real quick. Indiana, this is F-150. Once you put the tailgate down, um, it's pretty much done. So it pretty much doesn't stay up for the most part. Does have a nice uh, you know, like bed liner in there. This looks pretty good. It's not necessarily a sprayed in bed liner because it should go across the sides, but it's 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 all right. This one seems like the tailgate will stay relatively stiff, which is uh, definitely not common. This guy right here was manufactured 918 2019. So, ooh, it's quite a, quite an old one. That was way before the world went went cray cray. So we'll put that guy up there. And then the last Auto World old school one I have, this Chevy Silverado Release 3 Premium a, or Version A. There is your mix right there. This is a different mix than the blue F-150 we were just looking at. I think Auto World makes a fantastic Silverado, by the way. Really, really good. This one in maroon with some black wheels. Black wheels look pretty good. They are appropriate for the model. Blacked out grill. There is Chevrolet embossed in the grill. Got to get some glare in there to uh, see the details. Always uh, do these models with the windows down, which I think is kind of cool, so you can see in there. Uh, details down up in there. There is no additional print underneath the hood, but there is quite a bit of depth in three-dimensional detail in there, which looks good. And then, of course, this guy also will have the folding down tailgate. You can see the tailgate appears to be sprayed separate from the truck. The tailgate isn't quite the same color as the rest of the truck, which is unfortunate. But that one goes down very, very easy. So I would just fold right down. That one actually works pretty good. Works pretty good. There is the deets there. 527-2020. So this guy actually came after that F-150. That looks pretty good. Auto World, Auto World makes some pretty good stuff. They do some pretty good stuff. All right, we got some green light. This is the newest vintage ad cars. Uh, this is the only one I found so far. Is at Hobby Lobby, and by the way, they put those stickers inside the blister now, so can't do anything about getting those stickers off. So if you buy these from Hobby Lobby and you don't open them up, then you're just stuck with a price tag inside your package, which is very, very, very frustrating. 
1946 Ford Super Deluxe Convertible, the ooh, newest color for this particular casting. The, the blister is uh, quite brittle, which is, uh, which is definitely not in line with Greenlight's facade. Green, Greenlight has a brand new uh, logo, by the way, for 2024. You should check out their Instagram if you want to see the new logo. Uh, this one looks average. I do like the color matched wheels. The prints in the front look pretty good. It's uh, it's pretty average. I mean, there's there's really nothing to the convertible. There's really nothing to look at. 1946 on the plate. The quality looks good though. Quality looks really good. There's no opening or moving features for this particular one. 691 is the number, which is a very very low number. The white wall tires are pretty good. The the rubber is not perfectly round because they don't really seat the tires all that well. But you see how good it looks on this side. That one's the best one right there in the back. But you know, green lights, green light will figure it out eventually. Hopefully, their new logo will help them figure it out. All right, the newest release of Green Light Hollywood. Uh, this is Series Forty Two. Didn't even know Series Forty Two was out, but this uh, has dropped at Walmart. Uh, by the way, Walmart gets these uh, inventory tags on here. These are not on the inside, though. So if you want to try to peel that off, you can. That is also an anti-theft device, just so that you know. Um, so we'll get this out of here. This is the latest Yellowstone drop. This one happens to be the Ram, the uh, 1500. So we'll get this popped out of here. We haven't seen this particular casting for a little bit. This casting has kind of taken a hiatus as they work with the new Ram. But there is the Dietz. Of course, it's replicated off the show. This does not have any moving features at all. Unit number 83 on the side, County Sheriff. Details on the front. It is a matte black bumper and uh, matte black grill. Looks pretty good. Side mirrors are molded into the casting, so you don't have to worry about them being crooked. Simple uh, lights bar at the top. And then painted tail lights in the back. There is your plate detail. So Montana plate on there. Deputy 4x4. Four four. Deets on the bottom here. 6765 is my particular number. That's a pretty high number. Uh, but it's not unexpected. So put him at the top. It's not going to fit on the inside. I have to put him at the top. All right. The next one up in that same mix. Same Series 42. This is for NCIS Hawaii. 2018 Dodge Durango. This is the newest drop for the Durango. Uh, just basic. Um, it is an undercover unit, obviously, in the show. But uh, for collecting purposes, if you just want a simple dark blue Durango, this will fit the bill. Uh, we haven't seen a Durango for a little bit as well, so very nice to see this casting pop back up. As you can see, it is just in basic blue. You do have your Dodge symbol in the grill. The headlights are lensed. Appropriate wheels on there. Looks pretty good. There is the deets in the back. Of course, it's got a Hawaii plate on it because, you know, it's replicating a one-to-one. -one. does have uh, Durango there on there. Looks pretty good. No tow hitch on this particular one. Tail lights are painted on, which I think is fine. You can see all the windows are tinted, though, in the back. And then there is your base deets. This one happens to be 15, 6, 17. Holy, holy cow. That's the biggest number I've ever seen. That is the biggest number I've ever seen in my life. 15,617. Holy cow. That is the biggest number by far I have ever seen uh, on a green light model. I've never gotten a number that high. I've gotten 10,000 ish once. Whew, 10, 15,000. That, that's crazy. All right. 1947 Dodge Power Wagon. Same mix of Hollywood. This is the newest 1947 Dodge Power Wagon. Looks fantastic. Completely just regular. No smoky in the, or no, uh, um, uh, Whatever that, that fire guy is. The smoky guy, you know, don't don't burn forest fires, whatever. You know, nothing like that. No, no license, nothing, just no golf, no nothing. Just regular, regular green power wagon. Really, really stoked about that. So we'll get this out of here. Set that down, get this out of here. This one, um, I had a really hard time not opening. I really wanted to crack the soap when I first got it. It just looks so good in the prototypical green with your kind of bronze uh, military hubs look absolutely fantastic. Mirrors look good on this one. Dodge on the front. Got your big uh, push bumper in there with the winch. Everything looks good about this. It just looks good. Dodge, Dodge embossed in the back. A little bit of taillight print on there as well. 
Black over fenders, there is the base deeds, $62.79. So some pretty high numbers on my particular mix. But again, we don't uh, we don't necessarily chase down the numbers. I just like showing the numbers for everybody. Some people are interested in the numbers. All right, and then this one we've already seen on the channel again from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is what I pulled. I pulled this chase. If you guys watched me crack the Black Bandit uh, Series 29, I actually pulled a chase of this one out of the case. So I had to hunt down and get a non-chase uh, to uh, add to the collection. So I had the regular one. So this is the regular one in just solid black. Your 69 Harvester Scout. Get this out of here. This is the new style of blisters that is very, very, very thick. We'll get this popped out of there. So much plastic. There is the Scout. Looks pretty good. Just in... Uh, Comes with a hair, apparently. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Like I said, we pulled the chase piece. And of course, there is your residue. This does have a removable top, I think. Oh, this one's fixed. I didn't remember when I cracked that uh, chase or not. It does say BB on the back for Black Bandit. Looks good. There's your scout detail on the fender. It's a pretty good model. This one is numbered. Uh, 304 so get a nice low number for that particular one is that gonna fit in there Ooh, yeah very nice very nice all right next one up i do have a uh maesto design uh toe and go this one's the 88 m3 with the traveler trailer uh, these are very difficult to get i don't really find these at pretty much any stores i know there's tons of stores that carry them but not too many people carry them here in Colorado where I'm at. So pretty much just uh, King Supers, which is our local Kroger affiliate. Of course, I only bought it for the M3, which looks absolutely fantastic in this, uh, this like red wine color. Looks fantastic. The gold wheels, those are rubber tires, uh, but the wheels itself is not two-piece. It's just painted gold inside the silver. It says toe and go on the back, M3. The good thing about this is you can remove the toe hitch. If you don't want it on there, you don't have to have it on there. I really like that mask that does that. And then this is the Traveler trailer. It's more like a slammed teardrop. There is the plate on there. It's the state of Maesto. Have you ever been to the state of Maesto? Because I've never been there. Traveler there on the top. This doesn't have any opening or moving features or anything, but nice, cool little uh, toolbox right there, which is a pretty cool detail. So that guy should fit in there. So we'll throw him in there. We'll throw our M3 in there as well as we fill up the wall. Ah, oh, yes. Optimus Prime for the Transformers, the Track Fleet series. So this is what's supposed to be in the mix. Uh, I've been really, really trying to find that Volvo 240 Drift and the Semi Roger Dodger, but they're shipping solid cases of these. So if you find these at the store, it is more than likely going to be a solid case of these, which is unfortunate. You're not actually getting the mix. You're just getting a giant case of Optimus Primes, which is fine. So we'll get this guy. Ugh. Ugh, man. Brutal. All right, so obviously it does detach. You'll see there is quite a bit of metal in here. That's where it attaches to. The trailer does nothing. Okay, so just want to let you guys know. The trailer is 100% fixed piece. It doesn't open. It doesn't do anything. It just sits there. It looks appropriate, though. It definitely looks like the, the trailer for Optimus Prime. But the trailer does nothing. It is just a solid fixed piece. So just letting you guys know. There is Optimus Prime himself. The Autobots logo there on the side. The details in the front look pretty good. Um, I've heard some speculation that this might actually come to the main line just the cab by itself which i think would be fine there's nothing on this that seems like it would be uh ineligible for a mainline release although i think it might be a little bit weird but uh it is possible so if you uh can't find a optimus prime prime and you are looking for one and of course it's made for track so there's got to be plenty of play in the in the hitch and all that stuff like that so we'll just put him kind of right there uh, we got one Tarmac Works. This is the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which looks pretty good. This is the first release of this particular casting. 
I've been kind of dragging my feet on a lot of tarmacs lately because I don't know if I really want to continue to go down this road. But um, I really wanted this one ever since tarmac had, had showed that it was coming. So I figured I might as well just do it. It does come with a box. And there is uh, plastic in there in case you want to put it away in the box. It does wrap around, which is a pretty nice detail. You have to be careful with this particular Mercedes because, yes, it does have the three-pointed star there on the grill, above the grill. So you have to be very, very careful with this. Make sure you don't break that. It is a very, very delicate piece. Plate details look pretty good. Rolls perfectly fine. People always ask me if Tarmacs roll. The Tarmac Works stuff that comes in the box, yes, the stuff that comes in the acrylic, sometimes those do not roll. But there is the deets on the back. The... The bumper back here is a separate piece. So that's why you see the brake right there, which is an interesting way to design the casting. Typically, that is just part of the model. But lens tail lights look pretty good. There is the print on the back, it says S500. A little bit of uh, silver detail for the exhaust tips. There is the deets on the base. Made in China. Chicky, chicky China. But that's a pretty good looking model. So we'll just kind of set him. I guess maybe right there. It doesn't quite fit. And yes, I have some monster trucks. Uh, this is a brand spanking new mix. Um, I'll show you on the next card because this one doesn't have everything on the back. But this is a new casting. This is the tumbler for Batman. I don't typically do the non-licensed stuff. But uh, in this case, I decided that uh, I had to have this one. It looked pretty good. There is the tumbler in the front's a little bit weird because normally there'd be wheels there. I think the back end is perfectly fine. There's the big jet. Of course, it's all blacked out. Solid black everything. Black interior, black base, black cage. Um, all that good stuff like that. But it looks it looks pretty good. So, I do like that guy. We'll set him right there. Next one up in this mix. There is the entire mix, by the way. So, I do have all the ones that I collect, I guess is the way to put it. This is the newest one for Demo Derby. It says new for 2024, although we have seen that particular deco before. However, the chassis and wheels and tires and all that stuff is all new. It is their Power Smashers, which is just them changing the color of the wheels and tires to make it look, I don't know, different. Um, it's not like it would really smash any different, but there is the details. Demo Derby, we have seen that deco. Not exactly that deco, but very, very, very close to that deco before. Super high quality prints. Looks good though. I kind of like the uh, translucent base and the translucent cage in there. It's very cool looking. It's very different. It doesn't really match the body, but I still think it's kind of cool. All right, brand spanking new casting. This is the Nissan Frontier, not the Titan. I always thought it was the Titan, but no, this is the Frontier. Brand spanking new casting for 2024 Monster Trucks. So we'll get this guy out of here with its brand spanking new casting. There is the brand spanking new casting right there. It has a very interesting deco on it. Details on the front looks good. Definitely looks like a Frontier. And then there is the deets in the back. It has got some... It's got Frontier embossed on the tailgate, although it's printed over, but it does say Frontier on there. And then just an orange window on it. it you know, all monster trucks use the same cage, the same base, uh, same engine pieces and all that. They just change the bodies on the top. So it looks pretty good. It's got some chrome wheels on there. It's a it's a pretty good one. I like that one. I like that they did, you know, a Frontier rather than the Titan. I think it's different. Uh, and then this one right here will probably be hot. This is for Barbie's 65th anniversary. Barbie 65, the Myers Minx. This is brand new for 2024. I think people are gonna be a little bit a little bit crazy for this one, even though it's just it's just Barbie. Nothing particularly fancy. Pink chassis up in there. The details on the side, those all say 65s on the side with Barbie in there. That's a cool, cool little feature. Uh, prints on the front look pretty good. There's a little logo there in the front. I'm not exact. Oh, that should be the Myers Manx logo, I guess. Barbie 65th anniversary. Blue window on this particular one. And then, of course, monster trucks at the top. And then Barbie 65 on the plate. Looks pretty good. That is your Myers Minx. So there you go. That is Diecast Hall episode 65. Nice, good slew mix of stuff, all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, 
Glad I can get that stuff up there. And I, I literally just found those monster trucks today. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment. Throw it down there. I read every single comment. I promise you, if you see a thumbs up on that comment, that means I read it for sure. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Level M. Subscribe. Peace.